Intervals of real numbers. A set I of real numbers with at least two elements is called an interval if any real number that lies between two numbers in I is also in I. Let's look at some examples. The set A consisting of the real numbers zero and one is not an interval. A consists of just the two real numbers zero and one. There are infinitely many real numbers between zero and one. For example, the real number one half is between zero and one. The set B consisting of all real numbers X such that zero is less than X is less than one is an example of an open interval. This set consists of all real numbers between zero and one exclusive. By exclusive, I mean that zero and one are excluded. We will usually write the set B using interval notation. We'll put zero comma one inside of parentheses. The parentheses indicate that the endpoints are not included in the set. The set C consisting of the real numbers X, such that zero is less than or equal to X is less than or equal to one, is an example of a closed interval. This set consists of all real numbers between zero and one inclusive. By inclusive, I mean that zero and one are included. We will usually write the set C using interval notation with zero comma one in brackets. The brackets indicate that the endpoints are included in the set. Another example, the set D consisting of real numbers X such that zero is less than or equal to X is less than one is an example of a half open interval. This set consists of all real numbers between zero and one, including zero, but excluding one. We will usually write the set D using the interval notation where we have zero comma one inside a left bracket and a right parenthesis. The set E consisting of the real numbers X such that X is greater than one is an example of an infinite open interval. This set consists of all real numbers greater than one. We will usually write the set E using interval notation where we have one comma infinity in parentheses. The symbol infinity is not a number, but rather a symbol indicating that the set E has no upper bound. R, the set of real numbers, is an interval. This follows trivially from the definition. After all, any real number that lies between two real numbers is a real number. Let's try an exercise. Determine if each of the following sets of real numbers is an interval. Now's a good time to pause this video, try this exercise yourself, and then resume the video to check your answers against mine. F equals the set of real numbers X such that zero is less than X is less than or equal to one. This is an interval. Z, the set of integers, is not an interval. For example, zero and one are integers. A half is between zero and one, but a half is not an integer. G equals the set of one over n, such that n is a positive integer. This is not an interval. For example, one half and one are in G. Three quarters is between a half and one, but three quarters is not in G. H equals the set of real numbers X, such that X is between one fifth and one fourth, exclusive. This is an interval. I equals the set of real numbers X, such that X is less than or equal to 2.7, is an interval. Q, the set of rational numbers, is not an interval. For example, zero and one are rational numbers, and we could find irrational numbers between zero and one. For example, the irrational number 0 0.01, 0, 0, 0.01, 0, 0, 0.001, and so on. When we are thinking of R as an interval, we sometimes use the notation negative infinity comma infinity in parentheses and refer to this as the real line.
The following picture gives the standard geometric interpretation of the real line. In addition to the real line, there are eight other types of intervals. We have an open interval where we write a, b in parentheses. That's the set of real numbers x such that a is less than x is less than b. We have a closed interval. Here we write a, b in brackets. That's the set of real numbers x such that a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b. We have two half open intervals. We have a, b in the left parenthesis and right bracket. That's the set of real numbers x such that a is less than x is less than or equal to b. And the other type of half open interval, bracket a, b, close parenthesis, the set of real numbers x such that a is less than or equal to x is less than b. These four types of intervals are known as bounded intervals. Then we have two types of infinite open intervals, a infinity, the set of real numbers x such that x is greater than a, and negative infinity b, the set of real numbers x such that x is less than b. And we have two types of infinite closed intervals, bracket a infinity, the set of real numbers x such that x is greater than or equal to a, and negative infinity b closed bracket, the set of real numbers x such that x is less than or equal to b. Let's look at an example. The half open interval, open parenthesis negative two one close bracket, that's the set of real numbers x such that negative two is less than x less than or equal to one has the following graph. Okay, notice how we use an open parenthesis at negative two and a closed bracket at one to indicate that negative two is not included in the interval and one is. One more exercise, sketch the graph of the infinite open interval zero infinity, which is the set of real numbers X such that X is greater than zero. Go ahead and pause the video and draw your own graph and then resume the video to check your graph against mine. Here we have it. Notice how we use an open parenthesis at zero and then we shade to the right. 